everybody. If this is your first time joining this channel then my name's Lara and in November 2022 I moved to British Columbia, Canada with my husband Rich and this whole channel is dedicated to just documenting the whole experience. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in then please consider subscribing, it would really mean a lot to me. Um, and yeah, nice to see you for the first time. So it's a Friday night tonight and I'm having a little glass of wine and I thought I'd just do like a nice casual video as my first kind of official video for 2023. My 2023 goals and my highlights of 2022. So that's what today's video is going to be but I'm a bit late doing it because it's already the 13th of January. Yeah, let's just ignore that and I'll try and get it uploaded quickly. But yeah, let's go over my 2022 highlights and my 2023 goals. So my first goal for 2023 is to just live a little bit of a healthier lifestyle. I personally would like to feel a bit more comfortable in my body. So that would just involve me maybe losing a little bit of weight. There's no, nothing wrong with my body. Everybody is beautiful. Just for me personally to maybe feel a bit more comfortable, I would like to lose a little bit of weight and just feel a bit happier in my body that's just my own personal choice um and yeah that's my first goal for the year but i'm gonna i'm not really gonna dwell on that one too much because that's just kind of like a just a little thing that i personally want to accomplish this year so yeah that's my first goal for 2023 by the way i'm really sorry if you can hear my dog snoring in the background she's sitting right here you might be able to see her and she's such a loud snorer but she can't help it, but yeah, if you wonder what that noise is. So my second and really big goal for 2023 is for my husband, Richard and I, to get our own house here in Canada. So the house that we're in at the moment is my mum and dad's house here in Canada. And we're very lucky and grateful that we get to live in the basement here as our own kind of living space. But obviously we're you know 30 years old and we want to in a few years think about having a family and stuff so we would very much like to have our own house so that's the big number one goal for 2023 so i really hope when i'm watching this back this day next year that i'm watching it from my new home <laughs> So my third goal for 2023 is going to be to learn how to drive i've not ever had one driving lesson i've never sat in a driver's seat well i have but you know what i mean and obviously here in canada i really need to know how to drive in the uk i didn't feel the need to so much because i kind of had a bit more independence you know you can get trains anywhere so i just commuted into london on a train and everywhere was kind of walkable but here it's it's really not like that so I mean like we're we live in a in a city a small city and things are within walking distance but i mean i just i need to drive so that's a, another big goal for 2023 my fourth goal for 2023 and one that i'd really really like to accomplish is i want to get better at youtube and creating content because it's something i've wanted to do for years and years and years and years i've like back in 2008 i've got these videos of clips of me somewhere in my home like showing stuff that I bought from Primark and I've just wanted to do it for such a long time but I think I've struggled to find like my niche and something that I'd be really passionate about to create content for and Canada is my number one passion in life it's all I think about so this is definitely the right time to put the effort into making YouTube and yeah, just creating better content and I really want to get better at it. I want to have an upload schedule that I stick to and yeah, just put out, just get better at it. You know, it's one of those things that I think I'm gonna pick up and get better at as I go. But yeah, I've always enjoyed editing like videos and filming videos. I did media for my GCSEs and A-levels. So I've always been really into it. and. Yeah, I just, I'd really like to pick it up as a hobby and just have a little community here on YouTube that's all to do with loving Canada and, and you know, helping and offering advice to people that are going through the same thing. So yeah, I really hope that when I look back at this this time next year, I'm a lot better than what I am now. <laughs> and I'm sorry if this video isn't the best. I'll get better at it, hopefully. 
So another important goal for me, I can't remember what number we're on now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're on my six. Is to find a job here in Canada that I'm really, like, truly happy in. I'm especially really feeling this at the moment because I am at the stage where I'm applying for lots of jobs. I've had a couple of interviews. I've not got anything yet. And as of today, I need to get a job by the end of the month. So I'm really feeling the pressure at the moment. I've just, I wanna find the right job and one that I'm really happy in. So yeah, that's a big goal this year for sure. And my last kind of bigger goal, and before I just move on to three kind of smaller ones for the year, is to really cut back on food waste. So what I've been doing for the start of this year is writing down meals like breakfast, lunch, dinner for a whole week. So I know what groceries I need to buy for that week and I don't buy anything extra. Because in the UK, like they'd always, because if you, something about me that you might not know, I'm a vegetarian and in the UK, there'd always be these new like vegetarian, vegan products that come out. And I'd get so excited and overwhelmed by them all that I'd just buy loads of them stick them in my freezer and so much food when we moved out of our house in the UK ended up getting wasted and I don't want to do that here especially because groceries here are more expensive but obviously it's just better for the environment and um, everything so I would really like to stick to this plan that I've started doing of writing out meals for each week and only buying what we need to really cut back on food waste and hopefully have no food waste at all. And so far it's going really well and obviously where I am wanting to feel a bit more comfortable in my body and you know I'm I'm doing Weight Watchers at the moment um, which I really like Weight Watchers because it's not a diet I don't like the word diet it's just a lifestyle change so doing that and then combining it with writing out a list is working out really well so far but I mean it's only been two weeks but no I have faith in myself it's, it's going to work out. Okay, and then just three little things that I'd like to do this year. They're not really goals, but just things that I'd like to do. The first one is I'd like to film like a one to three second clip every day of the year. And then at the end of each month, I want to edit it into a little reel on my Instagram. And just, I just think it'd be nice at the end of each month to have something to look back on of what I got up to in that month and just a video captures a lot more sometimes than just having a photo. So, cause I did a, in back in 2016, I did a photo everyday challenge on Instagram, but I would like to do a video challenge this year. So yeah, I hope I succeed in that, but sometimes it's quite easy to forget, but I've not missed a day yet. And hopefully I don't miss a day for the whole year. There's something else that I'd really like to just try and stick to this year is um, Rich and I do these themed nights. We started it in the UK and we planned to do it each month, but um, we just kind of fell off course and didn't. We I think we only did it for like a couple months. But you write down all of these different types of cuisine, an even number so that there's enough for both of you, put them all in a hat and then you pull out a country and you cook, like look up some recipes and cook dishes of that cuisine. So we're both going to do that once a month and i just really like it if we could stick to that for the whole year and do one each every month so we've already picked our ones for january mine is greek which is happening at the end of the month and then richard is brazil and his we're also doing his one at the end of the month so yeah i'd really like it if we could do that for the whole year because it's just fun and you know you find out new recipes and it's just really enjoyable cooking together in the kitchen and yeah I hope we're able to stick to that and then my last one I mean I say the last these little three things aren't really goals but this one is really important to me I want to make sure that oh my god I've just realized that I've left out like one of my most massive goals Okay, I'll come back, I'll, f I'll finish on my most massive goal. But something that's very important to me is that I FaceTime my UK friends and family often because I do miss them. And, you know, I'm good, I'm fairly good with texting and like we have social media. So there's communication almost every day on social media. But just to actually have a video call with them often would be really nice. So... Hopefully this year will be filled with lots of FaceTime calls with my friends and family back in the UK. 
And okay, let's jump back to my really big goals. So a really massive one is travel. Travel is like, so Canada's my main passion. Travel is my second passion, main passion. It's Richard and I just absolutely love traveling, going to new places. So yeah, I would like to travel and explore a bit more of Canada, places that I've not been to in Canada before. Eventually I want to go to other provinces, but I don't know if that will happen this year, maybe aside from Alberta, because Alberta is quite a close drive for us. But yeah, we've got exciting trips uh, booked up this year already. I'm not gonna share what they are now, but I will be sharing them on YouTube. So yeah, that is a very, very, very important one for me and I can't believe I left that out. I've got them all written down here and I, I just must have skimmed past it. But yeah, that's a huge, huge, huge goal for me. <laughs> very important for me. And Richard is uh, traveling a lot around Canada and also it'd be nice to explore some of the States as well. Okay, so that kind of wraps up my goals for 2023. It'll be interesting to watch this back this time next year and I thought I'd just finish this video off by just kind of looking back on 2022 and what the highlights were I think I might upload a little kind of like montage video of just some clips from 2022 mashed together with a song but yeah I'll just kind of recap on what my highlights for 2022 were so I just mentioned travel we had an amazing year of travel in 2022, Richard and I. We, you know, we went to places in the UK. We went to so many places in Europe. I was luckily and luckily, I was lucky enough to go to the Netherlands. I think four or five times. I can't even remember how many times it was. And I'm not saying that in a way to brag or anything. Like I'm so grateful and so lucky that I was able to go that many times. I just genuinely, off the top of my head, can't remember if it was four or five times. But yeah. An amazing year of travel and we just wanted to make the most of having Europe so close because it's not easy to travel there from Canada so yeah an amazing year of travel and we're so so privileged and lucky that we get to do that so another great highlight of 2022 was Richard and I had our wedding reception party with all our friends and family at the end of May that was sorry my dog jumped off the bed that was like the last time we were together with yeah. like that many of our friends and family in one place and because our actual wedding was in 2021 and we were only allowed like immediate family it was so lovely to celebrate with them and just have those special memories that we'll just cherish forever it was a lovely evening and we really enjoyed ourselves so yeah definitely a highlight for 2022 wanting to end this video on a high the big highlight and that was at the back end of 2022 was the move to Canada our dream finally coming true as I think I've said in one well probably loads of my videos it's been in there planning for like five years coming here so just that feeling of it finally happening was amazing and I'll just never forget it and as I said at the start of this video we're just absolutely loving every minute of it. Sometimes I have to pinch myself that we're actually here. But yeah, 2022, aside from the, the sad and hard times, was an amazing year and one I will always remember, look back on and cherish for sure. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope I wasn't too awkward in it. Hopefully I'll get better and just get used to being in front of the camera. I think it just feels weird the first kind of few times, but I'm just trying to imagine that I'm talking, talking to you, whoever you may be that is watching this. Maybe nobody's watching it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I get better. And I'm hoping that the next video I film on my camera and upload will be a roundup of our first month. It's now approaching two months, but I want to get it filmed before it hits two months because I just kind of want to keep it as the first month and what happened in our first month of being in Canada and just kind of going over like the travel day and experience and stuff. So that's the next video I'm planning to film and edit on my computer after this one. There might be like some little vlogs which are edited so badly because they're they're all filmed on my phone and edited on iMovie on my phone which is just so difficult to work with on my phone but there'll be a few of them in between other videos because I've got like stuff that I filmed when we first landed in Canada or they're just like two second clips most of them just like all edited together so they're not brilliant videos but 
I'll still upload them because it shows our first few weeks here and stuff so yeah that will be the next edited video and there'll be other little videos from my phone in between so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked this or want to see more Canada related content which will be coming this year then it would be great if you subscribe and check out my social media which is linked below and yeah just wishing everybody an amazing 2023 i hope it's happy healthy and safe for you all and yeah thank you so much for watching see you next time bye